will destroy them in no time. New move, Now this is my style. Yeah. Come and face me. <laughs> oh. I'm fine. Come on, wind. I'll come around. Oh, flickering blades burn. Fireball. Yeah. Jeez, we'll take a turn. We're done! A new skill under my belt! that all of a sudden? A bit of faint. We only just met and I'm already disliked. It's saddening. Yeah, well, a maiden's heart is a complicated knot. <laughs> You're adorable. Flattery won't get you anywhere with me. My soul belongs to Yuri. What a pity. Hey, lass. Why are you walking so far away from me? I don't want Yuri to get the wrong idea. What idea might that be? Yuri and I are madly in love. That's all well and good, but you're outside my defensive range. I won't fall for your tricks. I know you've fallen for my charms, old man. I can't even tell if you're jesting with me. I've got a sixth sense for men like you. Oh, Caprice of Innocent Waters! 
Sorry for being so strong. You don't scare me. Scare me. You decided to come along for the ride, too? And hey, why are you bringing along more people? We didn't exactly have a choice in the matter. I've come to see you, Yuri. Well, you certainly have got guts, though that's nothing new. I've got more guts than a fish on the beach. I guarantee it. I know. If you didn't, you wouldn't have marched into that old geezer's mansion all by yourself. You mean Rago's palace? Is our ship gonna be okay? Let's get out of here quickly! Ghosts are behind that, I'd wager. You gotta be kidding me! The ship's evil spirits are surely at the bottom of the ship, plotting to make us one of them. Don't make up stories like that! No way that's possible. 
We'll just have to look for another way out. Right on. Let's... <sighs> Rita, are you okay? What do you mean? Of course I'm okay. That's why I'm gonna get out of here right now. Aw, oh, but we worked so hard to get here. We should take our time and soak in the atmosphere. We can't take our time here. I have the important mission of investigating the air situation. It's not like there's any other reason I'd want to leave here. <gasps> A strange face on the other side of the mirror. Yeah! Uh, no, it can't be. I feel kind of sorry for her. Come on, let's finish what we came to do. For Rita's sake. Yes, that might be best. Still, I'll make this quick. All right, here we go. Yay! All right, we did it. That's what happens when I get sick. Year 232 of Asul, 13th day of Blue Air. The Asul period and the month of Blue Air are from a time before the Empire. So, over a thousand years ago. That long? Adrift five and forty days. Food and water used up. Men succumbing to thirst and starvation. I cannot give in, though. I must see the clear Ciel crystal safely to Jormgen. This crystal holds the power to banish the monsters. And with it, the town may yet be saved. I have stored the clear Ciel crystal in my red chest, a gift from my dear Yuafan. It won't be much longer until I am in her arms again, and then we will all be saved. But he wasn't able to return to his town. He passed away here. Come on, Estelle. It was more than a thousand years ago. So this ship's been wandering the open seas for an awful long time. Sounds lonely. I've never heard of a town called Jormgen. If this record is really that old, there's no guarantee the town even exists anymore. Yeah, I guess that's true. What about that clear seal crystal? I've never heard of it. The power to banish monsters. Huh. I wonder if it's something similar to a barrier. Do you think it might be here somewhere? Let me see if I can find it. See how much better it is when we're all together? It's times like these that give you a sense for how important cooperation really is. N yeah, I guess. The runt said something smart for once. Not that we've done anything all that cooperative yet. That's all right. Just being together makes this place less frightening. I wonder if it's really that simple. Ah! It's a four-legged hell beast! Ah! Oops, 
My bad. Must have just been the pooch's shadow. Oh, you are so dead. I'm gonna kill you and leave you haunting this ship. Hmm? He's clutching something. It must have been very important to him. You think it's the clear CL crystal? Well, it matches up with what was written in that diary. Hey, old man, you go get it. Um, no thank you. What is it with kids today always blurting things out like that? Hmm? Still a scaredy cat at your age, old man? How are you any different, Patty? Aren't you a little old to be arguing with a child? Here you go. <laughs> Judith, darling, you've got nerves of steel. Do you think it might be cursed? Hey! This thing's stuck! M mons Huh? Ah! It appears to have the opposite effect. What are you talking about? It's drawing the monsters to us. Here they come! for a ghost ship? He doesn't seem like the other monsters. I don't think that's a monster! I'll blow you away! Photon! It's not like we have to settle the score with that monster, do we? Jeez, poor Raven's getting too old for this. Should we give it back to him? I think that's what he wants! I... I want to deliver the clear seal crystal to Yormgen for him. You what? Would it be possible to add that to the jobs being done by the guild? We can't, Estelle! As a rule, tiny guilds like ours don't take on a new job until they complete the one they're working on. Completing each job to the letter is the way new guilds have to build their reputation. Hmm? Is the guild going to be sent running here and there by another one of this girl's whims? Hey, you don't have to talk to her like that, you know. Rita, wait. Judith, I am sorry. But I want to help him deliver this to the one who was waiting for him. I don't think anyone waits for a thousand years. Yeah, I'd get sick of waiting after that long myself. I don't think that's what he's talking about. <sighs> I'll find them. Rita. You all have your hands full looking for Pharaoh and escorting Estelle, right? I'm free to do what I like. Well, I'll come along too, then. I don't mind going either. Hold it. You guys have your jobs to take care of. You know you're going to end up sticking with us anyway. So I don't see any problem with us helping you out a little on the side. Thank you. Ah, how I envy the vigor of youth. You've got such good friends. You must be so happy, Rita. I I'm not happy at all. Really? Huh? Notice something? 
Looks like there's smoke outside. That might be Tokunaga's smoke signal. I wonder if this Ceres Blasty is working again. Let's get back and check it out! Come to mention it, we won't be able to get back the way we came. We'll just have to see if we can't find a better way out. It looks like the case holding the clear CL crystal just won't open. I wish we could make sure it's actually in there, considering the sort of place we found it in. Couldn't you just bust it open with your magic? No, I can't. Right, if we damaged the contents, we wouldn't be able to make the delivery. No, I mean I already tried blowing it up. This little box is tougher than it looks. I... I'm at a loss for words. Forget it, Estelle. There's not much you can say to that. Uh, anyway, I suppose it makes sense to put something so important in an unbreakable box. Huh? Wasn't this locked earlier? I guess we can go back through here. Hmm, the curse was broken, huh? Don't be ridiculous! Now let's go! Yes, ma'am. You'll be gone soon enough. just jump down from here, we'd reach the ship in no time. Here. Where did you get that? 
I thought something like this might happen. So I brought this from inside the ship. I think I'm gonna gag. All right. Let's go back to the ship. Oh, good grief. If the Ceres Blasty has been fixed, that means we can say sayonara to this hellhole. Sarah's Blastia has been fixed. So it seems. Woo! Thank goodness. Of all the... Why do I always get sucked into these messes? If it was anybody other than me, you guys would have been left behind. Sorry about that. We'll never do it again, promise. <sighs> I wonder what caused the Sarah's Blastia to break down. It just started working again. I don't have the slightest clue why. You really think there's a curse, then? Perhaps the captain wanted to pass the clear seal crystal on to someone and reached out to us. No way! Dead people can't want to do anything! Doors get stuck, the Ceres Blastia stops working. Sounds like a curse to me. The world's a big place. There are many things we humans don't understand. I said it can't happen, so it just can't! What are you hitting me for? So, how do you like it? Well, the boss here has seen better days. Hmm. What's the matter? We don't know why it broke down, but either way, it's barely holding together. If we keep using this old piece of junk Blastia, we're guaranteed a shipwreck in the middle of the sea. Wow, so she's sensible when it comes to ships. What? She is? W what are you all looking at? <sighs> fine, fine. As soon as we get to port, I'm getting you a new one. You don't have a problem with that, do you? Seriously, this is a crazy deal you're getting. Hey, are we going to Nordopolica or not? Let's get this thing out of here. Right. I'm looking forward to finally getting there as well. Your spear fighting is fluid and your footwork is amazing. I love watching you fight, Judith. Oh, it's my pleasure. Aren't all Critians more of the nerdy, scholarly type? More indoors than outdoors people? Yuri's anti-book comments aside, is it true that the Critia don't fight in battles? It seems most of us don't like fighting very much. So you're an exception? A weirdo among weirdos, then. How strange. I've always thought it was normal to fight someone who was threatening you. Yeah, true. Really? Is that normal? Sure, it's normal. Totally normal. Uh, I see. So there's Nordopolica. Yep, otherwise known as the Colosseum City. Once popular among the nobility as a place for pitting criminals against each other in brutal contest, Nordopolica is currently run by the Guild Palastrale and has become a city of entertainment. Yeah, Palastrale's just as big a guild as the Dawn's Altosk, and... My, how pretty. So, a party in the streets every day, huh? This is gonna be great! Parties, fireworks, and skewers are a match made in heaven! Hey, I'll have one of those skewers too. Since when are you on vacation? Oh yeah, right. 
Minion's work is never done. You're the Dawn's messenger, so don't be rude to Bellius. Young man, you are looking at a veritable paragon of manners and good breeding. <laughs> Traveling in a group sounds like loads of fun. It's just a lot of noise. We've arrived safely, thanks to you all. Once I've unloaded my cargo, the Fiertia belongs to you, as promised. Thanks! We'll take good care of her! So, are the sands of Kogor still a long way from here? They lie far to the west of Nordopolica. Aren't there some big mountains on the way there? That would make going by foot a problem. Wonder if we could get there by boat. I don't think that's possible. Not many people go to the desert. I doubt there would be a place to moor a boat. Are you seriously going through with this? I told you, the desert is really dangerous. I can't just let you go to a place like that all by your... I mean... Heading into port, me hearties! Huge help. Right, mutual back scratching and all that. Oh, ma Madam President, it's an honor to have you here. Excavating more ruins? I'm always impressed that the guild boss himself supervises the excavations. The, the excavation of r ruins is wh what I live for. Who's that? That's Regay, the head of Ruins Gate. Ruins Gate? That sounds familiar. They're the guild that's helping the Imperial Mages excavate ruins. Oh, that's why I've heard of them. Well, I, I have friends who are expecting me, so if you'll excuse m me... He seems like a nice person. Hey, you were talking earlier about a guild that's selling Hoplone Blastia. You mean Leviathan's Claw? Do you think they might be getting their Blastia under the table from those Ruin guys? Ruins Gate is completely innocent. How can you be so sure? They're upstanding, serious, diligent. That's what they're known for. Huh. Well, I'm off. Take good care of the Fiertia. I'll arrange for exchange of the Ceres Blastia and for transport of Tokunaga. Sure. Good luck, brave Vesperia. Thanks! Mage is selling Blastia on the black market? That is so not good. Rita? Huh? Oh, yeah. All right. I guess I'll be going now. Going? Going where? I've got lots of stuff to do. You mean treasure hunting? Hi! Thanks for all the help. It was nothing. Thanks for piloting our ship, by the way. It's been real fun. Be careful out there. You too. Well, I got some work to do myself. Oh yeah, your letter. It's for Bellius, right? Yep. Hey, why don't we all go? Good idea. She probably knows something about Pharaoh. We'll just tag along with you and say hi to Bellius. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Of course, I've only heard rumors, but, uh, hmm. What? Is something wrong? Huh? Nah, it's nothing. Where can we find Bellius? The Colosseum, probably, since Bellius is the Duce of Palastrali. Just what sort of person is this Bellius, exactly? Well, that's just it. I've heard the name often enough, but I've never met the person. Carol, do you know? I've only lived in Dongress, so I don't really know the guilds in Nordopolica. The last thing we need is another Don on our hands. Heh, <laughs> you can say that again. One Don is plenty. I can hardly wait to meet Bellius now! <laughs> 